Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Alan Ash Photography, kind of with a little bit of some breaking news coming into my email from Agena Astro. Now, I have heard rumors about this particular camera that could be coming out, but we didn't really get any more contacts as to if it was actually coming to fruition or not until I got this email this afternoon from Agena. And look and behold, the first ASI 2600mm, the monochrome version, Duo. Yes, that is right. The Duo series now has the mono version. And the crazy part is, if you go to ZWO's like, social media and their website, there's nothing on this. This is kind of weird, <laughs> especially when I go onto their Facebook and there's nothing about this. It, it kind of threw me for a loop to see that Agena Astro, usually, you know, the one of the most renowned retailers for astrophotography and just astronomy equipment in general, just posted it says the all new ZWO ASI 2600mm Duo is here and it's ready for pre-order. Building on the success of the 2600MC Duo with its built-in guide camera, ZWO has now added the technology of its best-selling monochrome camera, the 2600MM, which features the same main camera sensor as its best-selling monochrome version, which produced countless stunning astrophotography images, and we've even seen tons of the 2600. I have the, the color version of this camera myself and I absolutely love it. But this is a big deal, especially for a monochrome aspect of this. Be able to completely eliminate the need for a guide scope, a separate guide camera, an off-axis guider for some people, especially when you're dealing with longer focal length like with Smith Castigrans. This is a huge deal here, so let's get right into the details about this camera in itself and right now it is available for pre-order on the Agena website I'll leave a link down below if you want to go ahead and pre-order this and it is expected to be arriving sometime around mid-April as of now according to their website but yeah it is the monochrome version of the duo APS-C cooled camera with that built-in guide sensor so let's look at some photos of this in itself we can see it has the regular image sensor like you would see on the 2600 with the little guide sensor here as well to be able to basically have your own off-axis guider all built in to one system. It all looks the same like your typical ASI Air camera. And then looking at the other dimensions, the only thing that's different about this one is it has M54 threads, which will have to be a little bit bigger, similar to what you would find from the the full spectrum or full size uh, like full frame cameras because it has to have the room for the guide sensor in general but inside uh, the box you'll get the camera body the camera bag you get two USB 2.0 cables of course you get the quick guide you get the USB 3.0 cable and of course you have all the back focus needed like the M54 male to female which is 16.5 and the 21 and you also got a little bit of a reducer too to, just depending on your peel flattener you got the wrench and the usb3 cable but here's this really cool this is where the uh bread and butter is of all the uh settings for this it is the imx 571 sensor with a resolution of 6248 by 4176 it's a 16-bit adc of course the um, FPS is going to be low now they don't have anything is something they mentioned too they don't have the actual depth of the settings that is for this camera they're just using the ones from the color version which I come to find out that the full well instead of 50,000 E is at 74 it's a it's a lot higher it has a little bit more of a buffer in the 512 and the DDR3 still has the same read noise the cooling temperature the, the QE is at 91 still the same pixel size at 3.76 but then when we started getting in towards the CMOS sensor for the guide sensor, which is the Starvest SC2210. It's a pretty uh, rectangular sensor. It's a 1x1.8 with a resolution of 1080p. 
Read noise is pretty low at 0 0.6, 14 frames per second with a QE of 92 and is a USB 2 with an ADC of a 12 bit. So there's also a tilt adjustment as well for this, which is really nice, especially if they get the cameras all aligned to your field flattener. But here is the, the main things between the two, the sensors. It's of course one, you get a little bit of a faster frame rate, but you're not really gonna be doing planetary with this camera anyway. But the full well, we can see from the 2600 MC Pro, the color version, you have 50 KE, where the duo for the other one, you're gonna be looking at a much higher one at 73 at extended full well. So that's really cool in itself. Uh, more information about the resolution of the guide sensor. I mean, if you're already familiar with the 2600MC Duo, it is the same exact uh, sensor that's used for guiding. And of course, this is an APS-C size uh, sensor, 23.5 by 15.7. And of course, all are the same ordeal of, you know, what you would get out of a 2600 camera. There's no amp glow with this one. That was one of the big driving factors for me, not having to worry about amp glow in general. And then here is the color wavelength, which that doesn't matter for this system in itself. The dark curtains compared to the sensor temperature, of course, you know, the cooler you have your sensor, the more, well, the less re noise that you're going to get. Of course, it has an anti-dew heater, very typical for, you know, this camera. And then this is what it looks like from the inside there with the two sensors. It's so cool of the technology that ZWO has come along for this. So it has two uh, USB 2.0 outlets and a USB 3 for power. And of course, you would need the 12 volt power adapter to power the, the fan on this as well. But going down, this is where I actually saw the possibility of this, that this is the only guy that I know of that actually had in hand of a test version of the monochrome duo version of this camera. And it's now best. It's now it's officially here. It's really, really cool, but the price tag on this is $2,500, which granted, when I got my 2600 MC Pro, it was about $2,200 with a filter drawer, so not much more. It, I would have been able to get a monochrome version with a guide sensor already included. So that's really just, you know, the whole thing about this, and I'm not sure if Gina was supposed to send that email or not because ZWO itself has not made any official releases to this besides that email I got from them so if you like to see more of this camera I would love to get my hands on one of these maybe I can get in contact with ZWO to really do some actual testing with this since I'm very familiar with the 2600 in general since that's what I've been using for the past almost two years now and it's a great camera and I love it so much and I've been wanting to dip my toes into the monochrome world since of doing the color version but if you want to pre-order this camera right now you can go down in the link in the description I would be able to have a direct link here to Agena Astro that you can pre-order the camera if you like plus I'll use my affiliate link because it does help me out if you use that link it's just kind of a little bit of a back incentive for you know providing the information on this camera in general now Hopefully, it's still being released for mid-April for Agena Astros per se on this, but this is a really cool thing, and I hope they start doing a lot more of this too, making more of these duo setups that you don't need an off-axis guider, you don't need a separate guide sensor, you don't also need a guide scope, and that just saves money altogether, and it's a weight reduction, especially for various mounts that you can have everything all in one, and it really cuts down the weight of everything. The one thing that I definitely want to know about this is I know the issues before with the color version of this camera too that when you're using narrowband filters under seven uh, nanometers you get a little bit of a tougher time trying to guide on stars because it's trying to push through and find stars through a 
already narrowband filter. Now, some people have been successful with that down to three nanometers, but definitely keep that in mind unless they've made some changes in the sensor itself that kind of work down to those three nanometer filters that we know and love, and especially cut down a lot of the light pollution that you could be experiencing in your area. But that is something to be thought out and found in time. It's definitely been recommended, at least from the color version, to try not to use anything that's less than seven nanometers. So I hope you liked the video and hope you liked the description. If you want to see to pre-order this camera i have a link down below and hopefully i'll get some imaging done this week hopefully tomorrow night potentially we could be going after another galaxy so thank you all as always be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one